At the Thunder Bay loading dock, Equinox's hatch covers come off. That's good there. And the ship starts taking on grain at a staggering 1,500 tons an hour. Total load, a walloping 30,000 tons. Three, four, and one, yeah, OK. Now, the pressure is on Kirk Lake, the 36-year-old first mate. Started loading, so hopefully everything goes good. Bring the deck crane back after them, we'll look at number five. They're counting on him to get the ship loaded as full and as fast as possible so they don't miss out on that extra round trip. I'm in charge of the loading. The whole load process is falls on my shoulders, so. Kirk's worked out a load plan to make sure the wheat is spread evenly throughout the ship's five giant holds, poured in a particular order through her 17 hatches. An uneven load can cause a ship to list, in extreme cases, even capsize. If you do things wrong and don't pay attention, things can happen, yeah. But he also has to monitor the ship's draft, that is, how low Equinox sits in the water as she takes on the extra 30,000 tons. The bottom of the ship can't sit deeper than 26 and 3 quarter feet. That's the maximum depth allowed in the canals and rivers of the St. Lawrence Seaway. We got a ways to go yet. If we're deep, the company probably get fined, and the seaway will be on top of us. The skill is to fit in as much cargo as possible without going over that limit. We come up straight in the end. But any tonnage Kirk doesn't manage to get on board could add up to thousands of dollars in lost revenue for the company. That's our goal, maximize our draft, maximize our cargo, and get it there safely.